this video, I am going to talk about how to handle information overload during call center training. It is very understandable that a lot of students or trainees complain during training because um, of information overload or there are just too many pieces of information that need to be digested or need to be learned in a short span of time because as expected during call center training uh, product specifics or client specifics will actually last for a month or two only and for some and for many I guess it might not be enough to learn what uh, the trainees need to know about the account or about the company they are working for. But I think that that is such a, a difficult way to look at things because for one, you will never learn everything that you need to know during call center training because the best things and the best way to learn is when you are already taking calls which is the application stage or when you are already legit taking calls and speaking with real customers over the phone but still a lot of trainees would say that um, it is really too hard to remember everything and you're right but then again we have to do a job and that is to learn as much as we can we are paid to learn we are paid to to be trained and we are paid to take calls in the long run which is why as a trainee you need to do your best to learn as much as you can during call center training and be able to apply it when you are already taking calls hi there ninja welcome back to my channel this is Rhea once again and you're still watching call center ninja sharing with you real stories and tips to enjoy and survive your call center lifestyle so if you're new here please consider subscribing by clicking the red subscribe button on youtube down below my tip number one is to take notes or if you are not allowed to write on paper because some accounts do not allow their trainees to bring paper it's a paperless setting or paperless account um, which is where I came from um, when I worked in the call center it is a paperless account because it's a financial account so we're not allowed to bring papers and pens which is why I use my notepad or wordpad or whatever uh, whatever system or app you can use on your computer to write down your notes because we have to admit that our brains can only remember so much and you cannot remember everything that the trainer will teach you or what you will read from your knowledge base so it is best to put everything down on your notes or at least the the key phrases or the keywords i know there are some people who can just go by the day and who can just survive training without taking notes because i don't know how they do it they just probably put everything into their brain or into their their heads if you are like me and you do not want to put everything in your brain then it might be best to just take notes and write everything down as much as you can but when you take notes you also have to be strategic about it which brings us to our next tip my tip number two is to develop a strategy so what are you going to do with all those pieces of information it is impossible to memorize everything and to remember everything right which is why i said on number one that you have to take notes but you don't just take notes and fill your notebook or your notepad with everything like copying and pasting everything on your knowledge base and moving it to your notepad it doesn't work that way because that would mean that you're just you're just making it worse for you so what you're gonna do is to develop a strategy so my strategy is like this I break everything down into pieces so what I do is I am going to uh, set the topic at hand so put it on top of my notes and then I'm going to divide my notes into uh, into many topics and in those many topics I'm also going to write down the different key phrases highlights uh, and other important things to know or frequently asked questions with answers so break it down into pieces do not lump them all in one note uh, or in one notepad rather or in one note and 
And that's it because you will have a hard time going through your notes afterwards if you just lump it all. Tip number three is to ask your trainer. Your trainer will appreciate it if you ask questions, or I suppose. But the trainer should appreciate it if the trainees are asking questions. So what you can ask is, uh, what are the important things that you can focus on when you are studying? What are the highlights of the lesson or the topic? So. Your trainer will likely tell you that everything is important. Of course, everything is important, which is why um, the trainer is teaching it to you during your call center training. But there must be something like a chunk of that lesson or that topic, which is like the cream of the crop. That is the particular topic or chunk in your lesson that you really need to remember or you really need to focus on. So ask your trainer about that and focus on that first to avoid information overload. My tip number four is to learn how to use and navigate your knowledge base or from where I worked before we call it our job aid. This is where you can locate information about how to do your tasks, what to do, definitions, um, a lot of what you need to know about doing your work in your company or in your account. And I might be a little biased or uh, my experience is different because uh, when I worked before in, in my previous work or call center job, I think that our knowledge base or job aids are very, very effective. And I really loved it because everything or almost everything that i needed to know to do my job was really outlined and was really um, properly placed on our knowledge base and job aid so if there is something that i do not know or that i forgot about uh, what was taught during our call center training i can just i could just locate it from the job aid or from our knowledge base so I really hope that that is also the case on your end. But whatever it is, you have to make do of whatever you have because that is something that you really do not have control of because your client or your account gives you your knowledge base or your job aid. What you can do instead is to just learn to use and navigate your knowledge base so that if there is something that you do not know of or you do not know an answer to, you know how to search it and you know where to go, you know where to search it from your knowledge base and you'll be able to locate the answer as fast as you can. I have learned about this quote, give a man a fish and you will feed him for a day. But Teach a man how to fish and you will feed him for a lifetime. So do not expect that everything will be spoon fed to you. Instead, you have to be proactive and make an effort to learn how to use your own knowledge base because that's what you will be using when you are already taking calls. You will not, again, you will not remember everything. You will not memorize everything. So your best weapon is your knowledge base and um, knowing that you know how to use it and that the answer is just there when you need it and of course that you know how to locate that answer how to look for that answer tip number five is to take breaks for sure during your call center training you will have two 15 minute breaks or how many minutes that would be or uh, probably you'll also have a one hour lunch but you will certainly have breaks within the day and breaks are very important because that will help you recharge and regroup and try to clear your mind and then be uh and then try to be ready and prepared for the next phase of your um, call center training because it's understandable that you'll get sleepy during the day and um, your brain can only take in so much information so it also needs to rest and that's about it for today thank you so much for listening and for watching i hope you've learned something do not forget to like subscribe and put some comments down below if you have any questions or suggestions and i'll see you on my next video i have videos every wednesdays and every fridays take care and bye bye